insight that I'm having issues with, I didn't build it, but I manage it now. And it, Search Console hated it and wouldn't index it and finally did. Okay. Um, the, when you yeah, say Google Search Console indexed it, what what metric were you looking at? Um, just, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get to. Um, just pages, just indexing it all together. Um, mm -hmm. It finally did the home page, but right. now it, when I ask it to see, like recrawl a secondary page, it's, um, let me try again. It's saying it's not available. It cannot be indexed to it due to a site-wide issue. Oh, but, very fun. Yeah, but it is doing the home page. Okay. So, so let oh, this is gonna be a ton of fun. This is gonna be a ton of fun. All right. This is a it good hasn't one. been so far. No, but. yeah, but it hasn't. Okay. So I want to make okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll pretend this issue is in my site rather than your client's site. So here's the, you know, the overview report when you log into search console. So I would not use performance to determine indexing, right? I would use indexing, right? And so I just want to confirm that's what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So you can go to full report, and it'll tell you why pages aren't indexed. Do you see anything there? Um, it just says, let me see, zero not indexed, one indexed. Okay, um, okay. And it's just the home page that is indexed. Yeah. Okay. But it says not indexed is zero? Okay. Okay, so that, here's, here's how I would work through this problem. First thing I would do is um, I would go to view your robots.txt file. That was going to be my first place to go. Oh, I'm excited. See, I'm learning. Can you view the robots.txt file on this site? Um. Yes, I'm 100% certain I can, but where it's going to be viewable is... So all, all you have to do is after the homepage type robots.txt. <laughs> yeah. That'll show it to you. And if it's not there, then, that, then it's in the wrong issue. spot. Um, it's there. It okay. Says, Can you copy and paste the content of that file into the chat, please? Yeah, I think I just changed this yesterday or okay. recently. Let me find Let's it. just see what it says. Okay, user agent everything disallow WP admin. Okay, so what this is telling us is any user agent can see everything but WP admin, okay? Now, if, I might be a little foggy on this, but um, I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. Uh, I don't think Google follows the disavow, no wait. No, it, it, okay, yes, it follows the disallow. It doesn't follow the allow. So you're telling Google or anybody, they just can't look at this page, but they can look at anything else. So we've what we've determined is that we're not preventing Google from viewing anything but the, in this case, the WordPress admin section site. So that shouldn't prevent any problem. That okay. I think I just changed yesterday. So I think it was disallowing more previously. Ah. Okay, okay. Um, so let's check this. This now because it's WP admin, we know this is a WordPress website, right? Yeah. So go into your WordPress. Can you log into the back end of WordPress on this site? 
Yeah. Okay. I might need to two factor authenticate. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, two factor. Yeah, super important. Yeah, I, WordPress I had, sites. I had some sites um, that I didn't have access to hosting get taken over, and it was yeah. a giant hassle. Well, yeah, I bet. I'm still trying to get access to their hosting, but let's see. Okay. Okay. So you're in the back end in the admin, right? Mm -hmm. So go over in the left, look at settings and then reading. Okay. It and does not say discourage. Okay. So it's unchecked. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. So what we're learning is some important things. Google is not seeing it, but it's not because we're forbidding Google for seeing it. Right. This search engine visibility button is the bane of many a WordPress developers. Yes. <laughs> and and I've, I've made so much money from people who've forgotten to uncheck that. It's great. I probably could have bought a car. Um, so, I, in fact, one of my best friends who helped design Curious Ants forgot about unchecking this on a website he launched, not mine, because the first thing I check on another site, he was so embarrassed. He built a website to check externally that this is not checked, right? You could enter in a <laughs> URL and just check it. He, he was so embarrassed that he fell, he <laughs> fell for his own error. Um, uh, I forget the name of the URL. I should promote it, but um, okay. So what we're seeing is, okay. So here's, here's what I want you to do within, I'm gonna share my screen again. So we're within Search Console, right? You can, in the very top here in the, with the box or with, with URL inspection, you can type any URL in here. So grab a page from your site that you think should be indexed. That one has your admin, WP admin. That's okay. That's okay. okay. All right. Okay. Right. It's not supposed you can to be put any URL of your website in here. Okay. 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 Yeah, it says URL is not on Google. Right. Just like mine does, right? Yeah. And in my case, it's the admin, so I don't want that. Yeah. Right. But it tells you a little more information. This is, says it's not indexed by Google. Uh, there are no referring pages. It's not in the site map. Does yours say anything like that? Yeah, it says the same. Okay. All the same. Is, which one are you using? Are you using one with WP Admin or a regular URL? No, just a regular. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and so it's saying it's not right. found. So we're going to test live URL on yours too. It's saying not available to Google. Okay. Google's. So here, if you look at mine, it tells you why. Ah. This page cannot be indexed blocked by robots.txt. That's why mm -hmm. Google is not allowing this. Are you getting any information about why? It says not available due to a site-wide issue. Site-wide issue. Yeah, that's the top one. And then page fetch, it says failed robots.txt. The robots.txt unreachable. Interesting. So you're not getting any conditions met or anything like that? Um, it says if certain conditions are met. Okay. But it just sent, sent me to common tasks. Are we recording? Can she share hers or? We are recording, but oh. we, we're trying to do is troubleshoot it yes. in a way that we don't okay. have to give away this information to okay. the public. Um, so here's what I want you to do. Type in 
your you are your your home page mm. and type in your robots.txt file in the inspect URL. Okay. And then test the live URL. That same URL is not available. Okay. Okay. So you know, you notice I on my site typed in robots.txt and it is available to Google. So there is a setting for some reason, either on the server or it could be in like your security settings of this website that's preventing Google from even seeing the robots.txt file. Well, um, I have a question because I did that same thing with robots.txt and it says mine's not on Google. Well, did you it do the live be? test? No, it shouldn't be. Okay, I gotcha. Test it and see if Google's even able to see it. And in case, in this case, Google is available to see this robots.txt. But in Alba's one, Google cannot see that. It's not allowed for some reason to see that. Okay. Uh, so there may be some sort of setting on the server that is preventing Google from seeing the robots.txt file, which is also preventing Google from seeing anything but the home page. You don't have access to the server yet? Um, I can access any any part of this particular website. Okay, okay. Um, do, you, do you have access to the HT access file? Yeah, I do somewhere. Because you, uh, a simple typo in the HT access could prevent mm -hmm. Everything but the home page. Okay. Hmm. So That's why I also like sometimes uh, WordPress websites will use something like WordFence as a security plugin. Do you know if you're running? Yeah, that one has. I just put WordFence. This predated, I think, me putting WordFence on there. Okay. Okay. Um, and I, I don't know if. I haven't tried some of the other sites. Um, okay. So if it predated WordFence, then that's probably not it. But if you can look at your HT access file, I would check that for potential errors. Okay. Maybe something that only allows you to access the home page. You can view other pages on the site except for the home page as a user, right? Yeah, yeah, they're all... Google can't. But also Google can't even access your robots.txt file. Now, what's interesting is that it's not... The problem isn't that Google's not allowed to see the robots.txt file because Google does not require you to have a robots.txt file. But... Whatever problem is preventing Google from seeing the robots.txt file might also be preventing Google from getting to the rest of the site. So I'm not saying open up the robots.txt file. I'm saying whatever is holding that back is probably the problem. Okay. In a server setting, a security setting, uh, a HT access setting is where I would check. Okay. And I, I wish Dave were here because he might have some other ideas. But we've ruled out like the big ones. And we've also ruled out some sort of technical, well, we haven't ruled it out, but it's probably not likely some sort of technical problem where Google can't read links to the site. Like I, I have a client, they just built the site in a JavaScript framework. And we realized that when Google crawls the site, it's like all it sees is white space because Google can't read the JavaScript framework. 
So it's absolutely un unindexable, except for the homepage. That's probably not what's going on here. Yeah, I don't, it's not a new site um, by right. any means. I just kind of took over the management and it's been sort of one to, a fresh one to look at for a lot of SEO type stuff. Yeah, so here's another test I would do on an interior page, the Google mobile friendly test. Okay. Okay. What's we're going to go back here. And we're going to enter a interior page into this tool. Now, what's really great about this tool is not only will I tell you if the page is mobile friendly, which isn't really our issue here. But this gives you a screenshot of what that page might look like. Now, in this case, it's not available. So we're going to actually go to we're going to go to a page that's available <laughs> and make it do a real test. Yeah. So we're going to let it do its thing. Um, it's going to take apparently longer than I thought to do its thing. And we're still waiting for it to do its thing. But so a, a couple of years ago, John Mueller from Google, he recommended that you use this tool to determine whether Google can even read your page. Because you know, which is outside the use of this. This is for testing mobile friendliness, making sure you have a responsive website, basically. And so how you do this is we look at this page, it's mobile friendly. Okay, that's fine. That's not really our question. We want to view the tested page. And when we view the tested page, this is the copy that Google has downloaded of this page. So we see something really important. We see HTML, right? And theoretically, we can go to this page, we can go pull a, a snippet, members of the colony. I can go and I can find this. It's in the meta, but it's also in the paragraph. So I know that Google is reading it, but I can also look at the screenshot. And this is what I really want to see. If Google sees something different, this is what Google is able to access. So if you put one of those interior URLs in here, And this page is, it says this page is usable on mobile, which it might not. Because remember, the first page I entered in was a back-end membership page. You had to be logged in to view that page. Uh, yeah, it told me no for this one. I did get the HT access file, and it has got a lot on it. So Right. There, there, uh, I, modern web does not require me to use HT access as much as I used to. <laughs> so I'm not as skilled at HD access as I once would have been. I would troubleshoot that first. Um, and this goes back to like literally my first week working in SEO at an agency. I had my boss give me an HD access file and said, upload this to the site. And I said, wait, there's an error here. He goes, shut up. You don't know what you're doing. Upload this to the site. I did it. Six months later, that website was kicked out of Google not for any violation, but because basically the rule said, don't index anything. <laughs> and like, boy, I, I wish I would have took a harder stance on that. Because even in one week into SEO, I knew more <laughs> my boss about it. <laughs> yeah. <really. laughs> so that says something about the SEO industry. But um, yeah. that's, that is where I check first. Okay. Keep using these tools, the URL inspection. You can you can just refresh and test it again. Right? And just keep testing and see what you find. And you know, every time you make a change, you know, you can go back to the mobile friendly test, try it again, and see if you can get this page is usable, then look at the screenshot. Right? Okay. Um, 
some of there's more information here that could also be very helpful. Like if for some reason you're preventing Google from seeing some essential files, it'll tell you. But that's where I would start. Okay. I'm going to, does that help get you in the right start? Right yeah. Now?